Welcome back to the lab session. Our today's experiment is numerical aperture and bending losses of an optical fiber. And the aim of the experiment is determination of numerical aperture and bending losses of the given optical fiber. This is our aim. So to do this experiment in our lab, we are using the apparatus, an optical fiber trainer board, which consists of an LED, which is our light source. And we have a photo detector which is used to detect the light intensity and it converts into its equivalent optical power form. And to measure that optical power, we have the digital optical power meter here. And these are the terminals of our digital optical power meter. Red indicates positive, black indicates negative. And this is the knob, variable knob, which is used to adjust the intensity of our given light source. So by rotating this knob, we can vary the intensity of this given light source. And these are the terminals of our photo detector. Again, red indicates positive, black indicates negative. This is our power supply on and off button. Coming to the other devices we are using. There is a 1 meter length of the optical fiber. 1 meter length of the optical fiber and we have numerical aperture scale. So this scale consists of various concentric circles are there. So the innermost circle is having the diameter of 4 mm which already I have measured with the help of my meter scale. This is the innermost one is having 4 mm diameter. The next second one is 8 mm, next 12 and so on like that. So this is the diameter of the circle. And coming to the another device, your numerical aperture jig. So on this jig again you have some scale here. So this is again in meter scale. Each line indicates here 0.2 centimeters. That means 2 mm. So 2 mm, 4, 6, 8, 1 and so on. So this is about our jig. So then coming to the formula. So this is the formula to measure the numerical aperture. First we will discuss about numerical aperture. So what is called numerical aperture? Light gathering ability of an optical fiber. So to measure that numerical aperture, we are using the formula in our lab. W by under root of 4L square plus W square. And you also know this Na is also equal to sin theta A from the definition. Right? So now let us see what is called this W and L. Here W is the diameter of the light falling spot on the screen. What screen is that? Your numerical aperture screen. So this is the screen. So W is nothing but diameter of the light falling spot on the screen. Spot is nothing but your light spot. Right. Now coming to the capital L. This is the distance between the optical fiber end and the screen. I will show you that. So this is about our formula description. Now let us start the experiment. So to start our experiment, firstly, I am going to connect my 1 meter length of the optical fiber one end to the given light source. So like this I have connected my one end of the optical fiber and the second end of the optical fiber I will connect to the another device. This is called your numerical aperture jig. Right like this. So I have connected. So after connecting you just keep like this. Then what you have to measure from this uh, numerical aperture. So for that I will show you the tabular column. So this is the tabular column. So after connecting that, so what are the readings that you need to take from the experiment? You are going to measure the distance between the optical fiber end and the screen which is denoted with capital L and also the diameter of the light spot falling on the screen which is denoted with W. Right? So, uh, first uh, let me switch on the kit. So, after switch on this quit, kit, uh, so this is what uh, my intensity adjustment knob. So, to see that light intensity, I will show you. See, the light is falling on my finger. Right? Now it is with maximum intensity. Now I have maximum. See, when I am rotating this knob in anti-clockwise direction, it is now completely minimum. Again, when I am increasing, see this is the highest intensity. So while measuring this numerical aperture, the first point is you need to remember this knob should be with respect to high intensity position. The light intensity must be here high. 
then how to take the linear I will tell you you need to measure both L and W so coming to the L what is L distance between the optical fiber end to the screen so this is what the position so you need to place your screen on the jig like this so the capital L is nothing but distance between this optical fiber end to this screen so this length is called your capital L so to take this reading I am just following like this the scale I have fixed like this so like capital L is equal to first reading I am going to fix for 4 mm right so 4 mm means I need to place my numerical aperture scale on the zig for 4 mm see on the second line so like this I have placed my zig so my scale I just placed for 4 mm this is what my length capital L value so when I placed my scale for 4 mm I need to observe that how much amount of I need to observe that how many number of circles are going to be occupied by this light intensity so for that I need to count the number of circles on the numerical aperture scale see completely first second third three complete circles are occupied by the light spot which is coming out from the optical fiber so with respect to that so each circle has 4 mm now coming to three complete circles occupied 4 8 12 so this is your w w value right now likewise you need to go for the second reading how can you take the second reading i already fixed for 8 centimeters l so for 8 means you need to move your numerical aperture scale on the zig for 8 mm that means exactly on, you need to place your scale on the fourth line 8 mm again at this moment you also observe that how many number of circles are occupied by the light intensity so count the number of circles and write the diameter of the circle so now this time 1 2 3 4 5 5 complete circles have occupied here so 5 fours are 20 now again I am going to move for 12 so like that you are going to vary your numerical aperture scale on the zig so in a similar way measure the L value and measure the W value so I have already taken those readings before this itself so these are the readings so I just so in this book I have started with the 2 mm onwards for 2 mm I have 8 W value and for 4 mm L I got 12 W and for 6 mm L value I got 16 W value for 12 mm it is 20 and for 18 it is 24 so now with this tabular column you got all the L and W readings and you substitute these values in the formula so this is what the formula W by under root of 4L square plus W square so after substituting all those readings so I have done already the calculation so after substituting all those calculations I got the readings like that so for each and every value of L and W measure NA and after calculating all for all 5 readings NAs you need to take the average so this is what my average value of the numerical aperture I got 0 0.744 this is the gathering ability of my 1 meter optical fiber for the given light source and uh, I also calculated the value of acceptance angle you know the definition of numerical aperture in another way no sign of acceptance angle is also called as numerical aperture so NA is equal to sin theta A from that theta A is equal to sin inverse of NA so like that you need to measure all these theta values for each and every NA finally take the average of all these five readings so this is what my average acceptance angle for this readings so that's all for humanity.